Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming out. Fabulous Chevelles from Austin, Texas, with Neil Peterson on the keyboards, Todd Potter on guitar, Bill Maddox on the drums, Bill Maddox on the drums, B.B. Morris on the bass, the legendary Charlie Hatchet on guitar. I'm David Norwood. Our other singer is Bruce Pauly Spellman. For South by Southwest and M Dialogue, we're the fabulous Chevelles. Thank you all. Welcome to M Dialogue. My name is Dion, and we are here for South by Southwest. We're interviewing today one of the legendary founders, one of the people that really, really was instrumental in bringing live music to Austin, Texas. Here we have Mr. Hatchet. Thank you so much. How are you? Well, thanks for for coming to see me, and it's good to talk to you. Thank you. Just to fill you in, um, Mr. Hatchett, what he did is he had a booking agency in the 1960s, 70s, 80s, where he would bring talent from all over the world to Austin, mainly, and then other places. So, Ray Henning said that he would um, provide equipment rentals, um, the owner of Antones would provide a venue, and that you were a booking agent that would bring in all kinds of people. That's yeah. correct. That's correct. No. So you brought some albums for us today, and uh, I, <laughs> one of the things that I, I was looking through, I was looking through some of these um, pictures, but okay, so this is the Hatchet Talent Agency, uh, people that you've worked with throughout the years. Some memos, yeah. Okay. What I'll do is I'll hold it up, and let's see if we can find some of the people. Okay. Okay, this is sideways. Okay, so who do we have here? This is Johnny D and the Rocket 88s. It's, it's a group that uh, a lot of the guys came in from Abilene and they have been just highly successful for probably 25 or 30 years and they're still going. They're great. Okay, so you have a picture of Stevie Ray. Let's try to find that. Stevie Ray Vaughan, by the, by the way, is he in this book? Yeah, here you go. Here's, that's, here, here's a picture of Stevie Ray. When he first came here, he came from Dallas. Uh, this is him. I think he's 16 years old, and with a group called the Blackbird. Okay. And point out Stevie Ray. Point out Stevie Ray Vaughan. This is Stevie right here, and he was 16 years years old. He looked like it too. <laughs> and here's the contract they on the other side that they they signed for us. This is the uh, contract he signed on the. 24th day of February 74. Wow, <laughs> that's so neat. He was really good then, yeah, just to start with. So how does it feel knowing, seeing Austin how it is now and how it is the live music capital of the world, knowing that you played such a vital role in that? How does it, how does it feel? Well, as long as I get to play it, it feels good. Yeah. <laughs> and it feels good anyway, yeah. Yeah, there are a lot of good musicians here and, uh, you know, it's just the quality of musicians here is just astonishing. And you know, and they keep coming. It's kind of feeding on itself. So I'm proud to be a part of it, and uh, I just sometimes stand, just and watch and enjoy. <laughs> well, listen, I really appreciate you taking your time to speak to us today. Time too, and uh, I wish all these guys coming up, yeah, uh, the best of luck, and just keep on keeping on and keep the faith. And, yeah. Mr. Hatchet, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. All right. And again, my name is Dion. Thank you so much for tuning in to M Dialogue. And we will have more interviews here with South by Southwest coming up.